With one week left in the governor's stay-at-home order, some Republicans are trying to speed up the reopening process. Today, the Republican-controlled Senate passed a bill that would allow Minnesota businesses, including restaurants, a lot more freedom over when and how they reopen. As May Murphy reports from the Capitol. The frustrations over the existing stay-at-home order are spilling over. Several Republican senators are questioning the fairness of it. Big box stores are open and a lot of small businesses remain closed. So what kind of baffles me here, members, is the double standard. I see that the little box stores are being heavily restricted and having all kinds of measures that are in your bill here that were not applied to the big box stores. But opponents warned that the governor's existing path of slowly reopening is the wise one, that frightening cautionary tales already exist right here in Minnesota. A number of different people have, have been infected, and those families and those workers are at risk. Also today at the Capitol, there was frustration with the state health department's modeling on the COVID crisis after new figures showed a higher number of deaths under one scenario. Republicans accused MDH and the governor of not being transparent. What's a little confusing for me is which model is the governor telling us so that we can understand and participate and walk side by side in making good decisions. MDH insists they will be out with new modeling later this week that will contain new case projections as well as new projections for deaths and when the peak might finally come in Minnesota. Republicans say that kind of information is long overdue. At the Capitol, Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. While the Senate passed the measure for a quicker reopening of the state's economy, it is not likely to go far in the House. Right now, it's stalled in a House committee.